All right, so the day is over. It is. Uh, yeah, it's raining and everything. It's proper Seattle weather. Uh, we went through a number of different Xbox demos and tours and interviews and stuff like that. Uh, it's been a confusing day as <laughs> information has been issued and reissued and it seems like every single outlet got a slightly different statement on uh, used games. Yep. There, yeah, conflicting uh, reports all the way on that one. Yeah, and uh, it sounds like you know at, at one point the Xbox Twitter account was saying one thing while Phil Harrison was telling people something else yeah. over here and you know Major Nelson's kind of chiming in the middle trying to try and <laughs> so basically it went from there's a fee you can pay to play used games like yeah. an online pass style situation to yeah. uh, there's no fee right to it sounds like the official word right now is we'll talk about it later. Yeah, that's <laughs> is, yeah, uh, that, that that appears to be it. Yeah, it definitely, it's definitely been uh, part part of the plan since uh, since day one, according to most of the uh, Xbox execs who just walked right past behind the camera. Right. Um, yeah, so it's something they've planned for from day one. They have a plan. They just won't tell us what it is. Um, so maybe they don't have one yet. I don't know. Maybe yeah, they're still I, figuring it out. I it's think, a, yeah, it's I a think, pretty complicated thing. I guess. I guess it is. It's, it's pretty crazy. And they, they yeah. talked about uh, it, it not being always online, but you do have to connect once every 24 hours. Uh, yeah. See, I didn't hear that. I re I read that somewhere. Yeah, that's but no been, one ever told me. around. That, yeah. So I, I don't know. Um, I think that's too tight of a window. It should be more like 72 hours or something like that. In case you know you want yeah, to take that's your way more reasonable. take your Xbox on the road for the weekend for sure. or something, right? Um, yeah, I think that uh, might be a, a better way to handle it. But you know, that stuff's all up in the air, and I'm sure by E3 they'll at least have their story ironed out, and we'll know more about it then. But uh, yeah, for uh, sure. Let's see. They're we'll raising to... the raising the friends list to a thousand. Yeah, that's um, that's big news. Yeah, that's that's a uh, well, a big number. Yeah. Let's see if we can. And, that was, out. and one of the things I heard was that the the, the yeah. Xbox One will be able to talk to the original or to the 360. Okay, like Apparently, for messages you'll be able, you'll or be something able to like communicate that. with okay, people yeah. on other consoles. Which that makes sense. Makes sense because you're going to be using the same profile and everything. Right. Um, yeah. But then I also heard from someone else that they, they hadn't heard anything about that. So, right. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of confusion uh, on that stuff. But we did get yeah. to touch the controller. We did, and that so, was cool. That's that's something we can definitely definitively yeah. say. Although it wasn't at all, it wasn't it wasn't the completely final controller, that's right? True. It was like a though they did have a final one close. there. They could touch one of those, but they had some demos yeah. set up to show off uh, the the feedback and the triggers. They've got two, yeah. two motors in there on the triggers, so they had a, a set of demos like starting a car, so you'd feel it kind of rattle yeah. back and forth, uh, both firing on the triggers a, and yeah. all the two motors down below, like firing a gun. Yeah, there's only supposed to be like in a helicopter with the rotor spinning. It's like a heartbeat, which kind of went. So it was like real light on one trigger yeah, and heavy, heavy on the, on the other, other one. or something. That stuff seems kind of neat. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I could. I'm sure some developers will do great things with that. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the rest of the controller, I think, feels good. Like uh, the, the, the yeah. looked a little strange. Like the the bumpers looked a lot bigger and bulkier, but I thought they felt pretty good. Yeah, it felt really good um, actually. And I even I like the D pad. Yeah, D pad I mean, totally it's, redesigned. It's still not, clicks around. I don't know that it's awesome, but it's better. It's definitely better. It's definitely better. better. Definitely better. Um, um, it's not going to replace like a fight stick or something like that. No, but, no. You know, definitely more reliable for a fighting game, I think. Uh, the sticks have a, you know, like a smaller dead zone on them, so a little yeah. more range of motion there. And I think there. they're physically smaller as yeah. well, right? Yeah. And then they have a, I think they were calling it like a micro texture or something. Yeah, something that's Around grippy the edge, your so thumb, it's really grippy. So, so I didn't, I don't know, I didn't yeah. mess with the one enough to know that if that's accurate or not, but. Yeah, and they actually the demo didn't certain. even, I don't think the demo even supported the sticks. So we, right, we were yeah, just sort of messing just, around just, with them. Like, it didn't yeah, support anything other than hit the Y to start it rumbling. Right. So it wasn't really, wasn't really a gameplay sort of thing. Yeah. Um, they shut off the Kinect stuff, six skeletons, six sick skeletons. Yeah, so, yeah, when we, I don't know how it was in your demo, but when we had six of us oh, all in front of the yeah, Kinect at the same little, time, it definitely got a little, a little crazy. Yeah. There was... And I think, like, I think I sat down on the couch at one point. Right. And my skeleton didn't know what to do. It was like falling okay. through the floor, That's, and I figured yeah, it, it was doing some weird I stuff. I don't know where the libraries are at on that stuff. I've heard heard different yeah. things about where that stuff's at, but uh, yeah, I, you know, put put my arm behind my back. It's still. It seemed like the you stuff it. the stuff that original <laughs> Connect could not do. Is still yeah. there, but uh, the fidelity definitely looks. But a lot again, better, yeah, that's so. the thing. Is again, it's like it's way better. Like just like I was blown up. It sounds crazy, but I was actually really blown away just seeing a Connect work in the dark, <laughs> because it's been really hard with the original Connect to have that work in anything but like optimal lighting. Well, so my problem is my, my living room. I have a skylight, so okay. during the day there's a bunch of natural light hitting, and that, that totally messes, messes it up. Yeah. So. Uh, 
So I'm, I'm hoping that that's, you know, they've got IR and all this other stuff, so I, I don't know that that'll, yeah. that that'll be fixed, but I, I don't know if I want to get up there with cardboard and block it off every time <laughs> I want to dance. Um, <laughs> so kind of see how that goes. But yeah, you'll, it sounds like you'll have to have that thing hooked up to, uh, to get the system going. It's definitely yeah, in every box part up. of it. Like yeah. It's right there. So it has to be hooked up all the time. Yeah. And that's when I spoke to Phil Spencer. He confirmed that. Yeah. Um, um, but he also, I did, because the one thing I asked him about was whether or not you could kind of, it would still be connected, but you could kind of switch it off to some extent. Yeah. Because I've had, ex I've had an experience with the Kinect where I was playing a game, didn't really know my Kinect was doing anything. And as I'm talking to someone I'm sitting with, people in the game world are hearing my conversation. Right. Uh, yeah, I've, I've like, connected to games all the time and listened in to full right. conversations it's, and all types of horrible, really Uno was a good game if you wanted to see. Yeah. Like for Xbox Live Vision cams, like Uno was the spot for the worst dirt bags I bet. Of, of the Xbox <laughs> world. I saw people do, um, yeah, I saw people do a lot of weird stuff. Anyway. But yeah, so apparently all that stuff you'll have to, you, you'll be able to opt out of sharing all of that stuff along with like oh, that, that was the craziest thing with Connect. It's like it's looking at your face and like it, it knows if you're smiling, it knows if you're looking away right. and stuff like that, but it also looks at your face and sees stuff that the human eye can't see. Yeah. And uses that to determine your heart rate. So it know yeah, it's it's they're claiming that slight changes in your skin pigment that yeah. are only detectable to robots yeah, uh, apparently. will they will be able to use that to detect your heartbeat. That's yeah. that's pretty wild. I don't know. That yeah. I don't know. Sure, Wild and sure. maybe, maybe like, a little totally, frightening. Yeah, all things a little frightening. I don't know. I, yeah. The 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 wake well, wake on voice thing of just being able to say like Xbox on or whatever yeah. to power it up. Like all that stuff sounds really great until you start to walk it backwards and go. That means it's listening to me all the time. Yeah. No matter what I'm doing. Yeah. It's always got some kind of you power know, going into at it. At some like point, you know, it's like they, they, there would be too, too many people with those. Why would they? Why would they monitor the conversations of? Every single person that right. owns an Xbox, that would be ridiculous. That, that the privacy concerns, all that sort of stuff. And there's, you know, I'm sure there are ways to break it down and check and see if it's actually doing anything with that voice data. Still a little weird. Still a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. They'll listen to you, though. I mean, they're not going to listen to everyone, <laughs> but you know they'll be listening to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, let's oh, okay. hey, get some dirt on them. Let's try and get higher <laughs> scores on these games. <laughs> oh, no. Man. Uh, man, I'm trying to think, what, what else do we do? Um, Make sure we don't miss anything here. Right. What else we do today? We went um, into a crazy soundproof right, and, and, chamber. An echoic, an echoic chamber. Yeah. That an was, an echoic chamber. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So it's a big old deep soundproof room that you you know you go nuts if you're in it too long, yeah. as I understand it. Uh, and that's where they're they're testing out a lot of Connect stuff. So uh, Connect works great in a perfectly silent room. Yeah. We saw robots testing controllers. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, just pushing the buttons on these they controllers made, yeah. over and over again. That was actually that was really cool. That was cool. Apparently, they mash each button, every button on a controller. They mash. Was it like twenty million times? I think. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Like as they're <laughs> testing out these prototypes and figuring out that stuff, it was it was a cool setup. They wouldn't let us take yeah. any pictures or no. shoot any video of that, uh, but it, but it was pretty neat. So. Uh, you know, yeah, and they showed us uh, some more Skype stuff. Didn't look like there's anything that was actually running, but you know, some of their concepts for group calling and, and that yeah. sort of thing definitely seem interesting. I don't, I just, no one, no one that I would have a Skype video call with would ever buy an Xbox. So at some point, right. it's just like, you know, my parents or you know, like like but those sorts use, of relatives. They would they could use yeah, that, they could use right? PC Skype or yeah, something like that. I'm sure, man, but I don't can... know that they would use that either. They're right. scared of cameras. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I did, oh, I, I got Phil Spencer talking about Forza at one point. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't. He wouldn't tell me a whole lot. He did actually say that. He that, said there will be cars in it. Did that, he confirm? Yeah, he, he, okay, there are definitely right, cars. Great. He confirmed that the, the McLaren is in it, which we knew. Yeah. Uh, but he did say that that demo that they showed at the presentation was over a month old. Which, um, huh. I mean, I don't know how much more they could have really polished it right. in that month. Yeah, but yeah. That's you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it that that good. demo looked pretty pretty great. Yeah. Um, good looking car models. It's still one of the things that and. Triple H's hair are the things you can judge <laughs> console power yeah. by. So this is you know, true. In lieu of Triple H, you know, Triple H got his hair cut, so he's not the same man he once was. <laughs> so now it's just cars. I'm just glad we're not back to like basketball game sweat. Like that was the right. beginning of 360 when 2K was out there. Yeah. It's like, look at the sweat, sweat rolling down this guy's face. It's like, that's man. not what sweat looks like. This is crazy. I had actually forgotten that, but you're right. Yeah, sweat. It was sweat, sweat and like light bloom. Right. Yeah. Those were, the, those were the things. So we've stepped up from that at least. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's um, raining at the Xbox reveal tent. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's raining it's, it's pretty good. It's coming down now. for reels now, and uh, and it's and it's pretty cold. It has gotten <laughs> it has gotten uh, you know legitimately cold out here. So 
Um, I think that's going to be about it. Yeah, I can't, Unless yeah, there's I anything, can't really else, anything that, else that, uh, that yeah. jumps out at you. I mean, you know, they did say that, you know, they're, they kind of cleared this stuff out of the way today to make room for games at E3, um, which, you yeah. know, that's, we knew that going in and, you know, they, they reaffirmed it to me today. So um, that sets the stage for them. And I think uh, at this point, they have come out and said E3 is about games and now they have to yeah. prove it. They, yeah, that, so, that, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I mean, it has to be a really, really good press conference now, right? Because they've already done Skype and right, like all well, this I imagine they'll recap TV. all of it though, right? There still has to but be they, that they little. But they can keep it brief and then yeah. focus on the games and like you know we yeah. know. I mean they they said today, I think what was it they said that they've got like 15, fifteen. Microsoft Game Studios is working on fifteen games for this thing right now. Which, and if I you believe was, the rumors that they tossed out like a ton of internal development not that long ago, right? Like I, I don't what state are those games in? They say they're all going to be out in the first year yeah, of the console's the release, year. and eight of uh, them in brand new IPs, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that sounds like a pretty good number so, to me. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, if they show even half that stuff at E3, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, um, but uh, we're just going to have to wait three weeks until E3 begins, and until we know for sure, E3 is happening in three weeks. Yeah, and there are still there are still a lot of questions to answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't. So you know, I, I don't, like, I don't, I bet they don't talk price. I bet no one talks price at E3. I bet they wait yeah. until some event afterwards. Uh, you know, they could wait until TGS before Sony has to announce price. They could right. announce it in Japan first and then confirm here. We've got to get dates at E3, though, right? God, I hope so. We've got to get dates. Yeah, but that's it's November. I mean, it has to be. Yeah. Those games have those. All the games that third parties are making will be done around November. So right. that's that's makes sense to me. So yeah. that's it from Seattle. Yeah. See you later. See ya.